Alex Petrangelo, man. The Vegas Oilers series is tied up at 2-2 right now. And what I wanted to talk about in this video was Alex Petrangelo, mostly because he's getting a hearing later today, and we'll see if he ends up getting a suspension or whatever. If you hadn't caught it, yesterday at the end of Game 4, Leon Draisaitl, arguably the best forward for the Oilers this postseason run, has a chance at the empty net. And he misses. Okay, it doesn't go in, whatever. But after he takes the shot, you have Alex Petrangelo coming out of nowhere, gliding towards Dreisaitl, and he absolutely Paul Bunyan's the heck out of Dreisaitl's arms. Petrangelo swings with both hands on the stick and whacks the guy. It's a terrible slash, and... There is a penalty, there's going to be a hearing later today. It's a pretty simple moment if you just look at it in isolation. Petrangelo absolutely lets the game and the atmosphere get to the better of him, and he whacks the hell out of Dreisaitl, a very, very bad slash. This might have been the worst, like, deliberate slash we have seen in a while. And because of the hearing that's going to happen later today, I'm pretty sure, like, if it were up to me, there's probably a multi-game suspension. If it's up to George Peros and the NHL's player safety program, then I have no idea. Spin the wheel, why don't you? This could be a fine, or this could be, I don't know, four or five games. Who really knows? It's so inconsistent with those guys. But... The thing about this slash is that you have a lot of Vegas fans going out there and not letting everything else go off the hook. Because while I'll acknowledge that this slash absolutely should not have had to happen and it was terrible and you should not see something like this ever, I won't ignore the fact that there was some context behind the emotions that Petrangelo probably felt in this moment. Does that excuse the slash? No, absolutely not. It was wrong. It should not have happened. But I'm not going to pretend like Evander Kane didn't take his fair shots or two at Petrangelo, that Petrangelo didn't get his head bashed in the boards and his neck almost snapped in a weird way. Like, it's fair to, at the very least, acknowledge that Petrangelo had gone through some pretty rough stuff the past few games. But, again, that does not excuse the slash on Dreisaitl. And, realistically, I don't think it's going to be holding any bearing when you talk about the hearings, because, you know, a hearing is a hearing. The guy's going to be on the phone with the Department of Player Safety people, and we're going to likely see the outcome of this happen later today. Here's what Y2K says, the top comment on the R Hockey subreddit talking about the player safety tweet on Petrangelo's hearing. I suspect one of four things will happen. One game of suspension for Petrangelo and Nurse gets his instigator rescinded. Multiple game suspension and they leave Nurse's automatic one game intact. Nurse is suspended and Petrangelo gets a fine. Or Nazem Kadri is suspended four games. Now the last one there is obviously a joke because Nazem Kadri He's not in the playoffs anymore. But when it comes to Darnell Nurse, he had himself an instigator penalty at the end of the game, and I think the rules state that because of that, he's got an automatic one-game suspension for the next game. So, yeah, Darnell Nurse, Petrangelo, Nick Haig, this entire series, it's been getting a lot rougher as it's gone on, and... Unfortunately for a lot of us fans that are going to the games, many of these games have resulted in blowouts, not even just in this series, but in all the series combined. It's been very strange how we've been seriously lacking close one-goal games, with the exception of Toronto, Florida from yesterday, I guess. But lots of blowouts, lots of rough stuff. This Oilers Vegas series has really started to heat up, and it's now 2-2. And of course, you know, the Oilers are not making their job any easier. You've got Evander Kane doing weird and wacky things by going after guys after the play is done. Of course, it's the playoffs, so it's going to ramp up. But at the same time, when it comes to this overall level of aggressiveness or aggression towards each other, it's also part of the referee's job to be able to mediate that without letting things get out of control. And I think it's a pretty fair perspective to say that the referees have not really been doing their jobs properly. They've really put the whistles away in this series so far and brought them out for the weirdest possible things. So the consistency with the refereeing, I mean, it's never going to be there. We're always going to talk about refereeing as a thing because it's always going to be a thing. And now you have Petrangelo, who is arguably one of the more leadership style figures in that Vegas locker room who normally is just a really cool, calm, collected defenseman, absolutely losing his cool, Paul Bunyaning Leon Dreisaitl, and now you have yourselves this hearing. I also wanted to go over and read a comment on the R Hockey subreddit from Oak Fern, because what they said was in response to the idea that Petrangelo might just get a fine. 
It's pretty rare for the Department of Player Safety to give hearings and then just give a fine. I think there's only been a couple of times over the last few seasons that has happened, and I imagine it generally involves the player offering an explanation that the Department of Player Safety did not consider and that reduces the perceived severity of the incident. There's no explanation Petrangelo can offer here that would justify his actions, so since he's getting a hearing, I imagine he'll get a suspension. Department of Player Safety might be inconsistent in what they decide to punish and the length of said punishment, but generally from what I've seen once they give a hearing, they're pretty consistent in handing out a suspension. Petrangelo only getting a fine now that he has been given a hearing is clearly the most preposterous option on your list. And that's also a joke because Nazem Kadri is on the list too, and yeah, that's, you know, memes. So either way, we add ourselves another perspective from the best player in the world, Connor McDavid, who went out there and said pretty much the same thing, that he thinks that this should be a suspension. You'd like to see it get reviewed for sure. I would like to see Petrangelo get suspended. It's intent to injure as you can get. Time, score, clock, all play a factor. His stick comes over his head and places it just under Leon's chin. You'd like to see something like that suspended. That's not a hockey play. At the end of the day, though, it's not in our hands. And so, yeah, Connor McDavid, man, um, that's the guy going out there saying it. Department of Player Safety, y'all better listen to Connor McDavid. I think that's the right ruling as well. And I feel like for now, with Vegas losing Game 4, series is going back over to Vegas for Game 5, this is going to be a pretty big hit if you see what's going to happen with Petrangelo and or Nurse. Two top defenders potentially being out of the lineup and tempers probably going to be flaring at an all-time high, too. You just gotta hope that the referees actually start to do their jobs and make sure that this game is policed properly and it doesn't get out of hand. But of course, you can't really go out there and do much when Evander Kane is taking shots of people after the whistle or after the buzzer. So... Ultimately, it's a tough spot to be in, especially considering the magnitude of these last few games. It's now a best two out of three, pretty much. So for Oilers fans and Vegas fans, please try not to go out there and flame each other in the comment section below. We're all about peace here, all about getting things done in a calm, collected, and mature type of manner in the comment section. So please don't go out there and whack the heck out of y'alls like Petrangelo did with Leon Dreisaitl last night. There's going to be a hearing, so we'll see the results come out a little bit later. I'm suspecting Petrangelo is going to get a suspension, but if he doesn't, then okay, that's just George Perro spitting the wheel and it resulting in something that I don't think many people would agree upon. Has Petrangelo gone through a lot of stuff this past little while? Yeah, but that doesn't excuse it. Reasons are not excuses half the time, and even though Petrangelo has had his fair share of crap, let's just use that word, happening to him, it's not really justifying at all why he's got to go out there and do this to Dreisaitl. Like, come on, man. Best player in the postseason right now, and you whack his arms like that? Low ball move, low ball move. But either way, thoughts in the comments section below about Petrangelo dry of the entire thing from yesterday and what your opinions are about that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shrolls 99. And bye.